we're rolling. What's going on, folks? Gonna throw you a quick uh, uh, intro, I guess, to this video. It's gonna be a bunch of different random stuff. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but I can tell you, it's probably gonna be extremely awesome, so you gotta watch the whole thing. But we got down here at the Go Power Sports headquarters uh, a little early to see what's going on, help them give them a hand uh, setting up stuff at the track for the 180 race. So I'm super excited. It's gonna be an awesome time. I already met a bunch of cool people. Misfit guys, if you ain't checked those out, those guys out on uh, uh, YouTube, yeah, you gotta check those cats out. Got to hang out with them. They were uh, doing some work on a bike, building one, and uh, cool folks. But anyway, so give you a little walk around. We got loading up some trailers, got bikes loaded up, and uh, probably gonna go out i think in the morning sometime tomorrow and see the track for the first time and uh start getting stuff set up so like i said you can make sure and watch this whole video subscribe to the channel make sure and give it a thumbs up if you like it which i'm pretty sure you're gonna like because it's gonna be an awesome time uh at the 180. so let's uh walk around see what's going on We have made it to the Texplex place. I'll give you a, give you a shot of their sign, phone number. So if you ever want to come down here in this area, and uh, this place is freaking huge. I'll give you kind of a little panoramic view uh, of their entryway, and here's a number and everything to their sign. But anyway, this place is uh, is freaking huge, man. They got uh, on this side of the road, they got trails all back down through here, and then uh, as we come up the main road way back over there in the back 40 is uh is just it's uh trails for days like i said we're at their entryway um uh, to the place so this is what their their facility looks like from the from the road so we're waiting on the rest of the crew to show up here looks like uh we're first maybe that might be a good sign you know if we're here first maybe we'll be a uh, first on race day <laughs> i guess we'll see but uh this place is just huge everywhere all around you is nothing but uh trails man it's crazy and the jumps as we were coming down the road on the other side of the property see if we can uh, flip you around and check that out let's see if you can kind of see uh so i can point that out to you right along here see all this back over here is uh those mounds that's not dirt hills those are freaking huge jumps i was like wow they look like they're like almost two stories tall but like i said all the way around is uh and then down over here where the rest of their pavilion area and stuff is back over there is uh we ain't got over there yet to check it out. Like I said, we're waiting on everybody else. So we got here a little early. So I'll give you a kind of view from what's uh, on this side of the road. So very anxious to go see what the rest of the place looks like. So stay tuned, folks. This ain't going. Yeah, we're recording. And hey, look who uh, look who stumbled in our neighborhood in the, in the uh, Texas woods. Look at this cat here. Y'all know who this fella is? What's up, brother? Hey, hey, Introduce hey. yourself. Hey, it's my toy from Mini Bikes R Us. I'm out here kicking it at Go Power Sports at the 180 race. The busted knuckles, my buddy. <laughs> right on, brother. I'm, I'm eating a donut. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's breakfast time. Everybody's just, <laughs> some people are still waking up, getting their coffee, getting their donut on. So uh, we want to see what today's uh, festivities uh, bring. Everybody gets to do a little hot laps. Since we got here early, we get to uh, fill out more of the track and see, get that uh, track advantage. So there's still some people showing up. It's gonna be a good day. 
a little chilly, a little windy, but hey, awesome, great time, great people. Woo, extremely excited. All right, I'll check back with y'all in here in a little bit. No, 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 y'all just carry on. Check out this here fancy contraption right there. Tell me that ain't nice. That's snazzy. Big block. This ain't a track set up. Got another guy coming right here. I think this here's one of the misfit boys. Yeah, that's one of them misfits. Great bunch of guys, boy. And ladies. Forgot to say the ladies. Great folks. They are some misfits. Cool people. Woo! All right, here they all come. Let's see if we can get a good angle. Let's get on this. Oh, we better stay on this side right here. race day so I'm gonna give you kind of a little walk through everybody got here this morning uh, to start off the today's uh, festivities and get started everybody's going through tech running bikes and uh, getting last-minute stuff done so uh, give you a walk around and see what uh, see what y'all think about what's going on around this place great folks morning sir morning break Hey man, good morning. All right, good morning. Good seeing y'all. Yep. So, it is gonna be uh, one spectacular day. But everybody's kind of spread out. Check this thing out, it's kind of cool. Junior's bike. Let's see his. What is that going on? There's this nice hey, little Gilson. Look at this thing. Ain't this thing just shiny as all get out? Look at that. Briggs, baby. Got sexy hey, don't touch. Is. 
Now, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> Maybe I'll start unplugging shit again. And he built this thing. I mean, it looks pretty, but you know, sometimes it looks don't win races. But I dig the 24. It was you that locked my keys in my trailer. No, I didn't. Of course, maybe I should have. That's why I spied. Check that out. Ain't that pretty? Look at this color. Look how it looks in the sun. Can you say hi? How you doing this morning? Good? You're doing good, doing great. That's a camera. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> hi. All right, we'll see y'all. Thanks, Rick. You bet you, buddy. Here's my partner in crime. How you doing this morning, brother? I'm doing good. So, uh, oh, get this thing dangled down. So, what, what do you, did you ride any of the back back there? Way oh, in yeah. The back? Oh, yeah. Okay. Did it's you? a little looser than I did, even though you warned me. It's yeah. a little looser than I expected. It's, uh, because you got to be on your A game. This ain't what? This ain't the normal flat track stuff that we're uh, no. used to riding. It's uh, you got to be on your A game. And then I came around that backside where the, the track kind of splits off, and then it goes into a mud pit on the left hand on the side. Left, you well, I went right. to the left. Yeah, I'm not knowing any better. I went to the left, and I kind of swerved around it. I'm like, oh! Then I came up the second hump, throwed a wheelie off of that one. I was like, oh, got wrangling back in. They, they put a lot of caution tape in places, and I was like, nah, you got to be on your game and watch that stuff because there's a lot of. So then corners. I was coming around the backside here at the end. I'm like, I think I'm going the wrong way because this looks like the part I just came the opposite way on. Yeah. You know, and I was like, I was, I was kind of hesitant thinking that uh that I was gonna get oncoming traffic. Yeah. And so, there was one area where I point to you with an arrow, and I'm like, well, do I just dogleg or am I supposed to make a straight right? You know? But I figured it out. Did you make the big whoop to do's in the back where it says slow and arrow? Oh yeah. Come down the house and you oh, gotta yeah. make that slide. Okay. So it wasn't too bad on, yeah. on my wife's bike, but I need to get on your bike. Yes. And, and Yes. On that one. yes, but I, I liked it. It was yeah. fun, man. It's, it is because it it's a, nice you got nice smooth jumps here, and you got you know some real squirrely corners. Then yeah. you got treacherous stuff in the back, so it's a little uh, a little bit of everything. So but it'll be a different piece on your bike. You're a little heavier, yeah. so I need to get out there and give it a shot. But I only did one lap. My my forearm like oh because my wife's stock car rode over on there. That thing's hard to pull.
down, folks. It's going up. Boys been the whole day running around on a rigid frame. I think it's a DB30 Viper. I think I can't remember. I'm bad with names. I know the cat, great guy. But man, he has been wearing that thing out, catching air on that little big DB30. Ripping it, boy. Sounds mean. He gone again, let's see that. He gone! Whew. Man, oh man. What a workout. I get over to kind of left side of a uh, pit row here. And uh, got my brother Brandon out there. He's bringing in the last lap. I started, he's gonna finish. And uh, hopefully he can make a quick lap. You know, we're all uh, all timed, so you got to get in, do your pitting, get out, make your lap, and uh, whoo, get back in. So hopefully we're doing pretty good. I have no idea where we're at in standing at all. Have not a clue. And uh, but you get out and trying to not wear your bike out, wear yourself out, pass as many guys as you can, have a good time. So. Uh, Hopefully we're doing pretty good. I guess we'll find out at the end of this here rodeo. So, all right, I'll go ahead and turn this thing off and see where my boy's at. Whew, killer time. Are we off? Oh, it's my boy. You know still racing and that's mine that's my 460 and honestly i had the most just uh you know faith in the 460 but you know hey things happen and it's uh, mechanical racing is racing yeah. yeah it was a surprise to me because i'm telling you right now the 460 big boy was gonna take it home like, yeah. overall with all that real. all that torque it was running power. good yeah it was running so good i was pass passing people like they were standing still uh you know letting the torque catch catch up with everybody gotcha. on the straightaways i was just torquing it i was taking it you know pretty easy through the corners and stuff and just let my motor do most of the work so maybe i should have did a little bit more i don't know yeah it's hard to tell you know wow man so what uh what kind of problem did you have with it um i don't know we're actually going to make a video and put it on uh, our misfits youtube uh, on the carnage and see exactly what happened cool you know it could be any I, uh it, when after it stopped pulling, it went click clean, click clean, click clean, click clean. Ah, yeah. So uh, I'm thinking broken rod, uh, something, something Ooh. broken. Okay, so uh, yeah. something clank, <laughs> clank. Yeah. So yeah, when you get clanky, clanky stuff, that's when you're like, oh bad, boy, man, what is this surprise going to be when you pull the side cover off? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, uh, the goat Ryan just a Barrett. Rod bearing, it's just Yeah. 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 Everything's good. Because it still pulls over, it just doesn't pull over well. It's not. Yeah. It, it, uh, I can actually pull it over, uh, push it over pretty easy with a torque converter. Right. Um, right. Put and it doesn't sound like nothing's too broke, but I do hear a little clank and clank in there. So gotcha. We're gonna figure man. it out. You know. Well, everybody's gonna get home, and take stuff apart. Oh yeah, but I'm, I'm telling you, man. The uh, the MB200 Hurricane. Okay, this thing has an MB200 super pipe on it, and uh, intake and uh, uh, a jet. That is it. Oh yeah, and a big roof rocket. The girls out here, they are killing it. I actually passed Kinsey and where you go down the hill and you pass each other right yes, there yes twice in the same exact spot so she was actually doing the same lap times as me she was getting nine minute laps so 
I'm that bike sounds really good. I, I know. And I it mean, looks I, good. I know? can't believe that, you know, that, that bike, I'm straight out of the box. The bike is performing like no other. Like these bikes that people have spent weeks and weeks and weeks building, right. welding up, and doing all kinds of stuff. And it's just, you know, it's performing. And uh, I got to say, the MB200 uh, Hurricane, it's, it's definitely worth the money, man. Right. Yeah, you hit up Go Power Sports and uh, get you one of your own, guys. So, well, we got everybody on here. Throw your plug in there for the Misfits. So, everybody, um, you go check you out. You go check us out um, online at www. Uh, minibikerace.com you can also check us out on YouTube and Misfits uh, YouTube and um, Instagram do you have Instagram we do have an Instagram it's minibike misfits on Instagram and uh, you know uh, best thing to do is actually come check us out in person we're out of Georgia we love to race and we love to put on a show right on so go make sure to go check them out great folks I appreciate you brother you, man. Hey, it was wonderful meeting you out yes. here man because hey Most I gotta definitely. say uh, it, the whole thing even though I blew my motor is worth coming out here Meeting Rick with Bustin' Knuckles, yes. okay? Because I gotta say, this dude right here, he's a legend. So I appreciate Thanks, you, man. Thank Most you, man. definitely. Great meeting y'all. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Alright, where's my boy at? Where is he? All we gotta do is finish one more lap. Bike was coming down on some power, but Make it. I have faith in the old, old motor. That, that bike's been around the block. It's uh, poor bike's been all the way down to Pensacola, Florida. No, I'm sorry, uh, Galveston Beach, all the way to Oregon, and all the way to Colorado. So that bike has got some, uh, it's got some miles on it. There's my boy right there. Honey. There's my boy right there. Way to go, brother! Right! Hell yeah! Woo! The bike held up, we didn't blow it up. got back to home base got everything kind of unloaded and uh take a break here and have me a cold ibc root beer thank you brother dave and trying to make a uh, closing video um i apologize i got so wrapped up with meeting all the cool people down there meeting new people uh i didn't get any gopro footage from my helmet or being on the bike uh just Got ran away with time, was anxious to get on the track and race with everybody. Awesome time. And uh, thanks for all the new subscribers and my following subscribers that I have. Uh, met a bunch of cool people down there. Um, I'll make sure to try and put a link in the description below of uh, all the other YouTubers that were out there. You got John and Isaac. Got to meet Charles. Cool cat, Charles. Uh, Tyrannus Customs. Uh, Bob and Bob. Really cool guys. Make sure to follow their channel. Uh, Build, Break, and Repeat were out there. Uh, the Misfit guys, wow, uh, great folks, man, and they, uh, they come when, uh, I was, I've been messaging them, and, uh, Mr. Mason, and, uh, he said, we're gonna come down there and bring home some wins, and let me tell you folks, uh, they weren't playing when they got there, great folks, man, cool, cool people, I don't, can't say enough about them, um, uh, there's probably a ton of people I'm forgetting that I met out there, um, it was super great to meet all y'all um 
the Texplex, that was the facility we were racing at. Uh, if you're on the social media, look them up or something, and if you raced out there, hey, drop them a line, let them know, you know, let, give them your thoughts about the facility. Thought it was an awesome place. Maybe they can have us back, you know, do a one year race, once a year, meet out there. So uh, drop them some comments on their, their Facebook or their, their social platform. Uh, what else did I forget? Uh, oh, um, I sent a, a request to my buddy that I race with all the time to be with my race partner. That was Brandon Armstrong. And uh, I'm so glad that he accepted my invitation and, and took time out of his weekend from his family uh, to come down and be my race partner. And uh, actually, I found out later, and uh, I cannot believe that we missed third place by 20 seconds. We were so close. And brother, that was probably my fault because when I lost the front fender off the bike, that was probably the 20 seconds for me to stop and get it thrown out of the track so nobody could run over it. So brother, that was my fault. We almost had third place. But uh, we will definitely be back next year in force and we're gonna take the first place. So um, thanks for uh, coming and racing with your brother. Greatly appreciate it, awesome time. And uh, special thanks to Go Power Sports for uh, putting this whole event on. It takes a lot to put on an event like this to, to get everything in order. And for their first time to do this, I think it went, I think it went extremely awesome. And I, I really hope we have one every year, same place, I think it would be great. Uh, so special thanks to them. So whenever you place an order with Go Power Sports or you stop in to get something and you were there this weekend and you raced, let them know and uh, give them your thoughts, you know, and uh, let them know what you think about the race because it takes a lot to put on an event like that. It's, it's a lot. So anyway, special thanks to all those folks. I even got to meet some of the, the ladies that work in the shipping warehouse and some of the guys that work down there. They, they had to come out and, uh, and help out and stuff. So it was great meeting some new faces from the Go Power Sports folks down there. So anyway, if uh, you all enjoyed this video, Make sure to go over to the little subscribe bell, scroll down and hit all, and uh, share it if you'd like, and also catch me on Instagram for uh, upcoming uh, things I got going on. So anyway, I hope everybody had a great weekend, had a pleasure meeting so many new people and racing, and uh, I think I'm going to go in the house and call it a day. It's been a long weekend, but it's been fun. Hope you all enjoyed this video. We'll see you all in the next one, folks. Take care. Ah.